What would you call this lovely object? I thought I had bought a dozen eggs yesterday. You must have snatched it when my back was turned. She thinks it's an egg. Let me explain. My husband, the famous surrealist painter Rene Magritte, has a way of transforming ordinary objects. I do not see an egg here, but rather than a mature bird, it will eventually be. You see, Renee's paintings present the viewer with unfathomable mysteries. I love to juxtapose two seemingly unrelated objects. Or combine two objects together to form a third. Or combine day and night. In the same scene. Which is why my paintings have the power to surprise and enchant. Rene wasn't just an artist. He was quite a thinker. He spent a lot of his time thinking about the relationships between words and objects. Why should an object be bound by its name when another suitable word could be used? Rather than explain his paintings, Rene wanted the titles to magnify the magic within them. So I invented unusual and surprising titles for my paintings, <laughs> which made them even more confusing. <laughs> Rene looked for ways to delight while providing the opposite of what they expected. By making my work difficult to understand, people would have to think, not just admire. Rene truly taught us to look at the world with new eyes. So it is with great pleasure that I present one of my paintings to you tonight. At first glance, it seems to be an ordinary street. But something strange is happening. Men are in the sky. Are they falling like rain? Or are they floating up into the atmosphere? Only you can decide the mystery of the Golconde.